Number one, letter A. When opening a door, you push on it perpendicularly with a force of 55 newtons at a distance of 0.85 meters from the hinges. What torque are you exerting relative to the hinges? All right, so here's our picture. We're taking an aerial view of the door, meaning we're looking down at the top of the door. Here's the hinge, all right, here's the top of the door. We're going to apply a force of 55 newtons uh, to the edge of the door, right, basically where the door handle would be. And um, the force that we are going to apply is located at a distance of 0.85 meters from the axis of rotation, okay? Or from the pivot point. I mean, how it, there's a couple of different terms that can be used. Uh, so now, uh, thinking about this question and thinking about uh, solving for torque, because that's what they're asking, uh, we have to use the torque formula over here on the right. Okay, so let's detail that. So for letter A, uh, the torque, it says, uh, is equal to R, which R represents the lever arm. All right, so I'll write that in here, lever uh, arm. And basically what the lever arm is, the lever arm is going to be the distance between the axis of rotation and the applied force. Okay, so that's lever arm. F uh, is going to obviously be the force applied, okay? And then sine of the angle, and the angle here is the angle between the lever arm and the applied force. Okay, so for example, in the picture over here, the angle between the lever arm in black there and the force here in, in uh, yellow is going to be a 90 degree angle. Okay, so now, so that takes care of what theta means. Now we basically know what everything means in the formula, okay? One other thing is, um, you know, you can think about R being, the reason why they call it R here is because it's basically the radius of, of uh, the movement of the lever arm. For example, if you were to look back at the picture over here, pretend the force is applied at this location, the object is going to rotate about that point. What's the uh, shape that's going to be created if that happens? Well, circle's created, right? Now that's obviously not a great, perfect circle. This isn't located right at the center, but it should be. Okay, um, that being the case, this is essentially the radius, right? Okay, so that's one thing. And the other thing is, right, we have to always consider the sign of the force. Now, in order to, in order to um, plug in the appropriate sign for force, we have to remember this. Anytime you get a rotation that is counter, counterclockwise, counterclockwise rotations produce positive torques, okay? And uh, clockwise, clockwise rotations produce negative torques, all right? Uh, so in this particular problem, the force going, that we're going to plug in will be a positive value, okay? Because we notice that if this door were to rotate, it would rotate in the counterclockwise position. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now all we gotta do is plug it in. All right, so torque is equal to the lever arm length, so 0.85 meters. The force is going to be 55.0 newtons, and it's multiplied by the sine of 90 degrees. Remember, sine of 90 is one. So we just have to plug in 0.85 times 55, and we get 46.75, and considering sig figs, it would be 46.8. The units are newton meter, okay? And that comes right from, right, the, this is in meters, that's in newtons, so newton meters. Okay, so that takes care of letter A. Now letter B. It says now, does it matter if you push at the same height as the hinges? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a new perspective of this door. Okay, so now instead of looking at the aerial view, we're going to be looking at it as if we were standing in front of the door. All right, the hinges, usually there's about three hinges on a door. Okay, so the hinges are located there and we're going to apply a force, let's just say at this particular location. Okay, now it's a little hard to envision this, but remember we're gonna be pushing the door into the page here. Okay, just, it's the same exact picture here. So the, the door should be swinging into the page, right? Um, looking at it in this perspective. Um, so in this particular case, we're applying a 55 Newton force here. And what's the distance between the force that's applied and the axis of rotation? Well, it's still the same, right? It's still 0 0.85 meters. Now, if I were to move this force, let's say vertically upwards, well, what changed? 
Mm, just the vertical position, but does that matter in terms of torque? Well, remember, torque is a function of the lever arm and the force applied and the angle between them. So the force is still 55. Here's the axis of rotation. The lever arm is still 0.85 meters, and they are 90 degrees, right? The applied force and the lever arm are 90 degrees uh, in relation to one another. So guess what? We're going to get the same answer there. And how about if you moved it downward? It'd be the same thing. Still a 55 Newton force into the page. Lever arm is 0.85 meters. Um, the angle between them is 90. So to answer letter B, does it matter if you push at the same height as the hinges or not? The answer is no, it doesn't. All right. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. All right. Please remember to subscribe and I will see you in question number two. Thank you very much.